An air conditioning technician charged Robert seventy-seven twenty-five to repair his air conditioning system after three hours of work. The technician charged the same rate for each hour of work. Which diagram represents the constant rate of change for this situation? Okay, 77.25 is important. After three hours of work, the same rate for each hour and the constant rate of change. And remember on the review, we used this to help us. Okay, number two. So as the table below shows the time it takes a prototype car to travel different distances. So what is the constant rate of change in the situation? Okay, so we're gonna highlight constant rate of change in miles per hour, and then we're gonna highlight minutes and distance in miles. And we wrote a WKU for it, okay? So number three. <clears throat> The battery readings on Seth's tablet are shown below. A full battery is 10 units. What is the constant rate of change in the battery recordings? Okay, so a full battery is 10 units is important. What is the constant rate of change for the batteries? Um, we really didn't write a proportion on this. You could write a proportion. You could just say words and then known because you really don't have an unknown, but um, we didn't do a proportion specifically for this one, so I'm going to leave it at that. Number four, Haley bought 1.6 pounds of almonds for $13.20. How much did she pay per pound for the almonds? So we're going to highlight 1.6 pounds, $13.20, and how much did she pay per pound for the almonds? Okay, so we need a... W-K-U here. Okay. Number five. Ken was pricing ingredients for a recipe he was planning to make for dinner party. The store sold four different brands of the same type of product. Which statement about the unit cost of the different brands is true? Okay. Remember, unit cost would mean unit rate, which it, unit means one. one. Unit means one. So you're going to have to do that for every brand. <clears throat> Does that make sense? You'll have to do a WKU for every brand. Okay, so that would be brand A, brand B, and so, and so on. Okay? Okay, number six. The figures below are similar right triangles that have a proportional relationship between the base and the height within each triangle. What is the constant of proportionality that relates to the length of the base over the length of the height within each circle, within each of these triangles? So, we're going to go base and the height. They're similar. What is the constant of proportionality that relates to the length of the base over the length of the height? Okay, you should write a WKU and fill it. Number seven. Tim's mom filled a gas tank in her SUV and spent $72 for 22.5 gallons of unleaded gas. What is the constant of proportionality that relates the cost in dollars to the number of gallons of gas? Okay, so she spent $72 for 22.5 gallons. We want the constant of proportionality to the cost in dollars over the number of gallons. It tells you exactly how to write it. Okay. Number eight. 
A battery factory typically produces 12,000 batteries per day and uses 50 boxes of packing batteries. If the number of boxes needed for packing is proportional to the number of boxes of bat or the number of batteries produced, how many more boxes would be needed on the day when 18,000 batteries are produced? Okay, guys, I can't show you enough what is important there. Okay. So W <clears throat> Okay, number 9. Joe is comparing sales prices of two stores in the mall to decide where to buy his new jeans. The two store sale banners are shown below. If Joe plans to buy one pair of jeans, which store offers the better deal after the discount? Okay. So we have store A and store B. They need to be separate. Even do that. Okay, we're going to do a percent proportion here, and it's going to be is over a percent over 100. Okay, number 10. John lost 1.44 kilograms after a week of exercise. One kilogram is equal to approximately 2.2 pounds. Which measurement is closest to the number of pounds that John lost? Okay, important, this, and then one is equal to 2.2. What is the number of pounds that John lost? You have to define what is the known and what is the unknown there. Okay, number 11. The table below shows Devon's budget last month. About what percent of Devon's monthly budget was spent on groceries? So about what percent, and we're on groceries here. We're gonna use part over whole, percent over 100. And then number 12, with Jessica earns $800 each month working for a part-time job. She wants to save a total of $2,400 for college over a one-year period, which is $200 a month. What percentage of Jessica's total monthly budget should go into her college savings? Okay, so we're going to have to... There's one number here we don't really need. Okay, we need her... What she makes a month... Okay, why don't we need the 2400 Just extra information, okay? Okay, you're going to use part over whole, percent over 100. And then the last one. It says the cost of Mr. Patton's car insurance increased by 5%. 8269 per month is what he originally paid. What was the cost of his insurance after the increase? Okay. So we need to know this. This is important. We're actually going to go amount of change probably. Some of y'all may see it as new, but you're going to go amount of change over original equals percent over 100. You still are going to have to do other things, guys, okay?